Today, I'd like to have you guys begin drawing your original patterns into your Zentangle. Once you've got your original patterns approved, they have good contrast and interesting line variation, then you can begin drawing them into your leading lines. Remember, the goal for this project is, just, is to show the principles of design, unity, and movement. Unity is achieved by repeating or gradually changing similar elements. So for our Zen tangles, so you should be gradually changing and um, repeating similar tangles that are either all organic or all geometric. To show movement, you should be placing your elements or these tangles and patterns on angles, more so on the same angles as your leading lines are going in. When you begin drawing your original patterns, double check that the original patterns you've made relate and are similar to the tangles you've already drawn so you make sure that you are showing unity. And when you begin drawing your tangles in, they need to blend into one another. Each tangle should look like it is growing from one into another seamlessly. Now I want you to notice what I'm doing. I'm continuing this one tangle underneath a leading line and having it show up again on the opposite side. Whenever a leading line goes behind another, make sure the same tangle shows up on either side of that line that's overlapping it. This will help make the leading line that is being overlapped look like the same line and not two separate ones. Also, make sure that each tangle has good contrast. I noticed here that I had a little bit too much white, so if one tangle would have too much white, go and add in more black. But do not co cover over an entire area that has mistakes by coloring that entire area black you have to problem solve on how to hide those mistakes. Mistakes are bound to happen. For instance, I don't really like how the one tangle turned out and how it showed up on the other side of the leading line that's being overlapped by it. But I didn't give up. I paused, I thought, and I came up with a solution on how to make it better. One thing to help you avoid happy accidents is always know which tangles you want to blend into one another and have a plan on how that is going to happen before you begin drawing. So make your marks deliberate and carefully. Do not draw fast as this tends to cause many mistakes in the work. And make sure that every tangle you're drawing is drawn at an angle to show movement and relates to previous tangles that you've drawn by being organic or geometric to help unify the work. Take your time, analyze what you're doing to make sure you have good contrast and be okay with happy accidents happening. Remember, those happy accidents are the things that make up an artwork or make up make an artwork look really amazing. So all I ask is that you try, you do your best, and you find creative solutions to hide any mistakes that will occur in your work. And lastly, don't forget to include six tangles from the packets and your three original patterns.